This extremely compact andesite alloy farm is capable of generating over 4,000 andesite alloy per hour, all while retaining an extremely compact 3x4x5 design. Additionally, this machine will work on any version of the Create mod with the flexibility of belting items into the machine or using Create post-production features to make the machine operational. Overall, in this video we will be breaking down how this machine operates, how to set it up, and how to build it by hand or paste it in with a schematic, with each section in the video being timestamped for your convenience. With all that out of the way, let's begin with the breakdown of the machine. To start, let's dive into how this machine works starting with the three inputs on the front, which is cobblestone, iron ingots, and quartz. When cobblestone is entered into the machine, it is sent into a belt, where a mechanical arm takes it and inserts it into a basin to be converted into andesite, all while the rest of the cobblestone is picked up off the belt by another mechanical arm and given to the mechanical crafters on the side of the machine. For quartz, it is sent onto a belt on the opposite side, where it is picked up from the belt and also given to the same mechanical crafters by mechanical arms. The mechanical crafters convert the resources into diorite, which is then crafted onto a belt and transferred to the basin marked for andesite. A mixer converts the diorite and cobblestone into andesite blocks, where they are then transported to the next basin. The iron ingots are inputted at the front of the machine, and flows through the middle of the machine and is inputted into a one by one mechanical crafter, that converts the iron into iron nuggets before entering the second basin. Once in the basin, the iron ingots and andesite are mixed into andesite alloy, where they are then transported to the pack barrel. I'll have all the information about this build in the same place where you can find the schematic download, which will be linked in the video's description. With all that said, whether you are or are not building the machine by hand, there will be a setup guide at the end of this video if you wish to visually see how this machine is set up. With all that out of the way, let's dive into the build tutorial. First, we are going to complete the materials list, which I will leave in the top left hand corner of the screen till the tutorial is over. If you are on an older version of Create and don't have access to the Create post-production features, you can still follow along with this tutorial and just ignore the post-production items. Before we begin, make sure to set aside a space to build the machine, which is going to be 3 blocks wide, 6 blocks long, and 4 blocks tall. To start, take yourself a few shafts and place them in a line like this in the front of the machine. Next, take yourself two mechanical crafters and place them right here, followed by a cogwheel here, and the vertical gearbox next to that cogwheel. Now on the other side of that vertical gearbox, place down a shaft here and a shaft in front of the cogwheel. Take yourself mechanical belts and connect these shafts to one belt and then the two shafts in the front two mechanical belts as well. Now take yourself two more shafts and place one right here facing upwards and another one right here facing upwards as well. Now take yourself two depots and place one in between these two shafts here and another depot in the blank space right here. Now get yourself an andesite casing and place it on these shafts and the cogwheel. And you can also place it on the belts as well if you want it to look a little bit better. For the next layer, we're first going to start by placing three barrels along the front right here. Then on the back side of these barrels, we're going to place three brass funnels. On top of this shaft in front of this brass funnel, we're going to place a basin, and then we're going to place another basin above this shaft covered in an andesite casing here. Now go to the mechanical crafters and place two more on top of these. Take yourself a vertical gearbox and place it on top of this vertical gearbox facing this direction. Now take yourself a cogwheel and place it in front of this vertical gearbox. Next to that cogwheel, place down a mechanical crafter facing this basin like this. In front of this mechanical crafter, place down an andesite funnel. Next to this andesite funnel, place down another andesite funnel facing this basin. Now take yourself two shafts and place one right here in the middle of the machine like this, and another one right here. Then take a belt and connect these two andesite shafts. Lastly, for this layer, come to the back side of the machine and place down a barrel and an andesite funnel facing that barrel on the side here. Now take yourself an andesite casing and place it on this cogwheel, and you can also do the belt as well if you want the machine to look a little bit better. 
Now take yourself four packages and place them on top of all the barrels in the machine. If you're not on the create post-production update, you can skip this part. Now take yourself a stock link and place it on the back side of this package or right here. Take a shaft and place it above this vertical gearbox here, followed by two mechanical crafters right here and here. Next to this package, fill this gap here with a block of your choice. Now take yourself three cogwheels and place them like this. Take yourself a vertical gearbox and place it on top of this brass funnel and a regular gearbox on top of this brass funnel. Lastly, for this layer, take yourself a shaft and connect these two gearboxes. Take yourself your four frog ports, which you don't have to worry about if you're on the create post-production update, and place them like so, including one in the back right here. Now let's finish this mechanical crafter by placing two more on top of it. Next to these mechanical crafters, place down a cogwheel. On the other side of these mechanical crafters, place down two more cogwheels like this. In front of the first cogwheel, place down a vertical gearbox. In front of that vertical gearbox, place down a mixel. Next to that mixel, place down a cogwheel right here. Then place another cogwheel on the other side of the mixel right here, followed by another mixel. Then take yourself a cogwheel and place it on the end of this mixel right here. Now take yourself an andesite casing and place it on all the cogwheels in the machine. Come to the side of the machine and make sure that the mechanical crafters are all facing the belt like this. And make sure that these two batches are separated. Now take yourself some temporary blocks and place it on top of the machine like this. We're going to temporarily take this fog port and move it to the side like this. Once you have moved the fog port to the side, take yourself a mechanical arm and set it to take items from this belt and deposit items to this basin. And then we're going to place it in the gap right here. Then you can place your fog port back down and remove these two temporary blocks. Now break these two cogwheels temporarily and just place them right here so you don't forget to put them back into the machine. Take yourself a mechanical arm and set it to take items from this belt, then come around to the other side of the machine and tell it to deposit items like this to the mechanical crafters. Then come back around and place it down in the blank space right here. Now we're going to do the exact same thing, except we're going to take items from this belt instead and assign it to deposit items into the mechanical crafters in the complete opposite spots as the other mechanical arm. Once you have done this, come around to the same place and place the mechanical arm down. Now take yourself the two cogwheels that we took out of the machine and place them back down like so and then take yourself a andesite casing and place it on the cogwheels. Now take yourself a piece of andesite and place it on this basin here and andesite alloy on this basin right here. Now you can remove the temporary blocks that we placed on top of the machine. And just like that, the machine is completed. So now we can move on to the setup guide to get this machine operational. Now then, let's begin with the setup guide. So far, you've either made the machine by hand or have pasted it in with a schematic. Either way, the setup for this build will be the exact same. To start, the machine is going to require 30 stress units of raw rotational power times every RPM applied to the machine, followed by 66 quarts, every RPM 83 cobblestone times every RPM, and 1.85 iron ingots times every RPM. If you're concerned on figuring out how you're going to supply these inputs to the machine, I'll have videos and schematics of other builds I've made that cover all the inputs needed for this machine to operate as a part of Link series. Or you can always use one of your own builds or someone else's. Now then, let's begin with linking the machine to your network. If you're not utilizing the post-production features, you can skip this first part. First, connect the fog ports to your chain conveyor system and name them whatever you would like. Now take a stock link and link it to your network. 
then place it down on the output packager. Next, use factory gauges, restockers, or signs to route items to their respective input fog ports located on the front. If you're confused on how to link machines by utilizing the create post-production features, I'll have a link in the video's description as well as in the top right hand corner of your screen right now, which will direct you to a video where I take a deeper dive into covering this topic. Additionally, you can bypass the post-production elements by simply connecting a belt and sending items into the inputs which you will have to do regardless if you're on an older version of Create without the post-production features. Once the inputs are covered, you can now apply rotational power to the machine at any point and speed, ensuring that all the components spin correctly. As always, if you have any issues with this build, please reach out to us on the Our Creation Discord, and also consider joining the Link Series project to gain access to hundreds of additional bonus builds like this one, both of which you can find more information about in the video's description.